You see them flying around in the skies, taking pictures all over the state, but drones are being used in a variety of ways. Mike Elliott, owner of Drone Services Hawaii, joins us now with a look. Good morning, Mike. Thanks morning. for being here. How are you doing today? Good. Now, we see drones. We know that you see them in the sky taking pictures, and they even race. Yeah, uh, also drone racing is a separate uh, entity, you know, that in its own, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of tech that goes into that. But uh, uh, drones in themselves are coming into their own in use in commercial and industrial purposes. Uh, you know, a lot of inspection, uh, mapping, uh, ecological preservation, archaeological work, because you can build uh, three-dimensional maps and come back in the, into the lab and measure, make, take measurements, uh, things that you need to do. Also for highly accurate maps, uh, one of the things that we've, been using lately are these uh, arrow points. This is some cool uh, geek tech for this weekend we're going to be talking about too. But these uh, record GPS data over a period of time. Mm -hmm. You upload it from all the ones that are out on a site. You apply some um, uh, correction factors and you can get uh, ground control point data with in a remote area and get that down to less than two centimeters in accuracy uh, and, and then merge that with the photos you shoot from the drone. Wow. Now you brought some goodies here. Can you tell us uh, what you brought? I, I look at it and I feel a little bit intimidated. Yeah, sure, but you no. said it's really not that bad. No, really. Uh, simple stuff. Um, this is a Phantom 4 Pro and one of the cool things about it, camera has a really high resolution camera mm -hmm. with a large one inch sensor. Uh, also has some uh, obstacle avoidance, 360 obstacle avoidance sensors and stuff. So in some of the inspection work uh, that we've done, we actually use the obstacle avoidance sensors as um, a point at which we can vertically move up and down the side of a building looking for uh, cracking or spalling of concrete wow. and uh, so the the technology that goes into it actually aids in being able to do some of this work okay and, and then this one uh, in the middle so this is an Inspire one it's been out for quite a while but the thing is it has uh, a FLIR camera and so uh, an infrared uh, camera system once again can be used in uh, search and rescue but it can also be look uh, roof leakage um, if you have electrical components that are potentially overheating mm -hmm. you can actually see that in the infrared uh, spectrum and stuff and that's available to you also as an option on this drone or some others okay, and then it sense. runs right through the app and everything makes sense yeah. okay and this one this orange so one this little fellow on the end yeah he's all dressed up <laughs> um, is uh, DJI Mavic but it has a very powerful camera a lot of the same sensor technology uh, that's even in in the uh, Phantom 4 Pro but mm -hmm. um, one yeah, of the things we did for well it, yeah. yeah we do this is separate it's made by uh, Epson call these Moverio glasses and you can actually broadcast a, a large screen image about the size of this monitor that would be right in front of your face mm -hmm. seeing exactly what the camera sees so some more geek tech and stuff so at uh, geek meet this weekend come out and see us and a bunch of other folks and uh, be glad to talk to you okay so again it's gonna be a geek meet and it's this weekend on this Sunday, weekend, Sunday at Magic nine, Island. 9 to 3 Magic Island okay and uh, you know parents encourage your kids if they're interested in science and technology math you know, encourage them because they are the future, and this is a definitely an industry in which they can thrive. It's always a popular event too. It right? is. It's All a right. lot of fun. So again, Mike will be at the 10th annual Hawaii Geek Meet. That's this Sunday. It's from 9 to 3 at Magic Island. Thanks so much for joining us. You today. bet. Aloha.